Re- really, the Butch Hartman situation, the controversy, when you get right down to it, it's the cartoon community's own attempt at uh, a sort of Me Too situation, as sort of taking down an established creator for having wrong think or the wrong opinion about certain things. Or uh, in this example, uh, simply being a Christian. That's that's all Butch Hardman seems to have done because I keep seeing people bring this one thing up over and over and over again, like his religious beliefs as justifications for not liking him. I keep seeing this over and over and over again, and I just cannot cannot abide by this i cannot stand by it i can't support it uh i i firmly believe that all of the uh, the controversy all the backlash all the um the really really ridiculous videos from the cartooning community uh, pie guy in the sky uh, uh the the ink tank these uh these youtubers that are only really relevant because of these really talented really successful cartoonists like these people <laughs> these people are just vying for relevancy and trying to drive out a Christian talent in the industry just because he's Christian. It's really interesting to see how how much um, people of a certain political situation can get away with a lot of the same things that, uh, well, Butch does, or in this case, Oaxis, right? Or the uh, the streaming service, the Butch Hartman thing that he was trying to start, like his own uh, his own private network full of his own private cartoons, that Kickstarter. Um, I it's interesting because I myself did not support it. I support that. I was against it, and yet I found I felt that people were backlashing towards it for the. There was a backlash towards it for the wrong reason. I felt that Butch shouldn't have been asking money from the fans. I felt he should have been like doing the legwork to get his own network up and started. Like it was perfectly doable. He didn't need to ask for money from fans. Uh, he didn't. That didn't need to happen. Um, the money was going to run out eventually. Uh, fans can give you money after you actually have an up and running service right like that's how i feel about that i'm an indie creator myself i i know what's going i know what it's like but um i i i firmly do not like the crowdfunding model yet these people uh, you, you had a bunch of people coming out like saying he it's an outright scam he's he's never going to make this it's never going to happen he's ripping you off and uh that's it's difficult, right? Because, you know, it's a business and nothing's guaranteed in business. Like, you're not guaranteed success in business, obviously. But but it did feel like he wanted to make this happen. But, of course, like, uh, the reality of how expensive this was going to be was always going to uh, get in the way. But that that wasn't the reason why people were upset. I was seeing all sorts of weird... All sorts of weird commentary about how he was, oh, he's going to shove in Christian propaganda. He's he's an evil Christian. And it was, it was so laughable and so ridiculous. And there was completely unwarranted. And over the years, I keep seeing these weird, weird, um, these weird, weird statements that like, oh, he hates autistic people. Oh, he made fun of someone's suicide. Oh, he ripped me off $1,400. All with like no evidence or context. You know what I mean? Like like I said, it, it feels like an SJW style takedown of an established talent. You know what I mean? Like SJWs, for those of you who aren't aware... Um, they, they need to get real talent out of the industry in order to like essentially manipulate people into supporting their shit. So uh, Kuro the Wolf, right, uh, the video that inspired me to make this, uh, he, re- he recently made a statement, released a video claiming that Butch Hartman uh, ripped him off $1,400 for a cartoon he did not finish. <laughs> uh, even in the video, I, was, I could see that, like, that, that's not something I would pay for, for sure. He, he doesn't owe you $1,400. Uh, and, and that's another thing, too. Um, why are you going to YouTube to complain about like financial matters? Like, why are you not going to filing a lawsuit? Like, if you really have a case, he doesn't have a case. Like, what he's trying to do is condemn Butch Hartman on social media and try to destroy him, his reputation among fans. And that's been going on for the the past several years among the cartooning community, which is um, 
completely ridiculous, completely unwarranted, and uh, these these untalented cartoonist YouTubers, uh, cartoon YouTubers, really really need to cut that out. So, uh, damn. <laughs> I keep getting off track here. I'm so used to making edited videos. I, now, I, I'm so used to learning how to make edited videos, and I'm so tired right now. I just, I, I, I'm worried how much how this is going to sound. But I'm, man, it's ridiculous. Like, um, it, it's ridiculous the lengths these people are trying to go to, right? To, uh, to try and make shit up, like to try and. Um, to try to take this guy down, and uh, I, I don't think it's going to work. I don't think it has worked for like the past, for the past like how long has this been going on? Like three, four years, right? The same people like actively going after him. Like I, I don't, I don't think it's going anywhere. I really don't. Like Butch seems to have. Uh, again, he exited Nickelodeon. He's doing his own thing. Uh, his YouTube channel is still very, very popular. I myself am a subscriber and like his content. So it's like, when some YouTuber I've never seen before, some long-haired furry starts bitching about how, uh, how, how, uh, how Butch ripped him off, I, my inclination is not to believe him. Like, I know what these people are like. I know they're leaving out critical information. I know they should have filed a proper lawsuit. I, they shouldn't be coming out here. Th these are people with no real careers. Uh, that, that really needs to be said. Like, a lot of these people, right, YouTubers, uh, none of them have real careers. They're not like Butch Hartman or myself. They're not real creators in the industry. They're just people who just... They're, they're just people who come out and just... <laughs> Make these crazy statements to try and get attention on the internet. Like, that is their primary weapon. To, like, weaponize their community outside of the eyes of the uh, the main cartooning uh, community, the actual B Butch Hartman fan base, and create this narrative that Butch Hartman is bad and, like, hopefully get people to latch on to it. So, like, right now the big thing is... Uh, Oh, he hates autistic people, and uh, that's why you shouldn't support him when that's, uh, I mean, I'm autistic. Uh, nothing he said about autistic people offended me personally, so I I don't know what the fuck you, you people are talking about. That's how autistic I am. I can't even make a coherent video, but anyway. I can't even make a coherent video right now, but anyway. Um, I... I will. I think I will be uh, doing a deep dive into this controversy because uh, it, it's a Gamergate situation. It really is. This uh, I, I think this is the gaming equivalent, uh, the cartooning equivalent of Gamergate in a way, uh, sort of the opposite effect in which the community, or at least the social justice aspect part of it, is trying to go after a uh, going after a creator for having personal beliefs that go against their own. Uh, these people aren't very free thinking. They're not very diverse. They don't have. You're not allowed to have any other ideology other than the the ones they adhere to. Like these these people will just uh, go after you for for saying the shit that Butch Hartman says openly on a regular basis about his religion and about his personal beliefs about um, about certain certain aspects of life. Uh, that that's the reason they're coming after him and why they bringing up they bring it up constantly. In every single video, um, uh, again, uh, I there, there's no doubt in my mind that like Butch is infinitely more talented than in, any of these people. Like I've seen these people's animations, I've seen their content, I've seen Butch's content. No, no, I grew up with Butch's content. Like there, are, there are a number of shows he made, he directly worked on that I really, really liked growing up, and um, he would still be making good stuff today if he was still you know, at Nickelodeon. Uh, right now, I think he's mostly just inactive because of the network thing and trying to go independent and uh, you, uh, YouTubing as a sort of side thing. It's not his primary uh, method of creativity like it is for these people, you know what I mean? Who are only relevant because of YouTube and going after infinitely more talented and successful creators. It's it's uh, it's absurd. I, I don't like it. I don't respect it. I'm dead set against it, actually. Um, 
I don't think anything needs more needs to be said. Like, Butch Hartman, I feel, did absolutely nothing wrong. 